Hey guys, what's up? I decided to make another video ranking the Predator classes on Predator Hunting Grounds. This is not going to be much different from the one that I did previously. It's going to be pretty much like the same thing. I just decided that I need to explain certain things a little bit better. Because some people asked me about certain places in my previous tire list. Which why I did place this class here and there. And the explanation here is going to be pretty much like here. I want to just explain a little bit better why I did some placings. And the reason is pretty much because I was judging the the classes. I pretty much like always do this in all the videos that I made. Well, how good these classes are going to be in their best possible builds. Because I'm not just ranking the classes themselves, their stats. But also the best builds which you can come up with each class against a good fire team. Like in a bad situation usually. Like let's say like a night map with high ping. Which situation I, I'll be playing against that. And like pretty much like which class will be better. Because if you're playing against bad fighting players. Against like the usual public game potatoes. Like it's going to be pretty much like feel the same way. You can take a S tire Predator class and a D tire. And you're going to play in pretty much in the same way. It's not going to feel any difference. You're going to win like pretty much the same way. Because against fi bad fighting players. It's like pretty much the same thing. It's an easy win. The stats don't really make much of a difference. Because like, you can play the same way. But when you're playing against a very good fighting. Certain stats, certain classes make more of a difference. You start to feel like, oh, this class really puts me in a disadvantage because of certain stats. Because, oh, this one has low, low speed or low power points, which prevents me from getting away in time. I don't have enough speed. I cannot move well. Or I have, like, low energy. I need more energy against a good fire team because a good fire team, I need to use ranger weapons. I need to use the plasma caster. A against a bad fire team, you can just take the alpha sequel, a good melee weapon with any class and just melee them to death. Against a good fire team, that's not going to work. So... The melee classes are not gonna work well against a good fighting. You're gonna need classes that can maximize ranged weapons better, it's mainly plasma caster. And in night maps, you're gonna need more energy because you need more thermal vision. So, certain stats like classes that allow for better ranged gameplay, allow you to have more energy, are gonna be more useful in situations against good fighting players in night maps, for example. So, classes that have low energy. That's already a big disadvantage in night maps against a good fire team because you need more plasma cast. Every time you overload with your energy, they're gonna know your position. Certain perk combination, like you need a certain amount of perk points to make certain builds work. To use certain of the meta perks. So classes that don't don't, don't allow you to to use the meta perk combinations are already gonna be downers. So even though you can have a class that oh this class has really good stats, they are, like it might seem that way. But there is like usually like one or two stats that make all of the difference in a game. So there might be a class, let's say the Elder, for example. The Elder might seem like a bad class. Like, oh, he's he's pretty much like a hunter with less speed and stamina. So people are gonna be like, oh, he, he has to be shit, like right? He has low speed, low 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 stamina, and he doesn't even have like more HP like the Berserker to make up for it. Uh, but how but he has more energy, which is a stat that is not even mentioned in game. And he has a he has enough pair combination uh, enough pair points to make a very good detail lens combination, which is very good specifically in day maps, but it's only for day maps. So the elder is a very good class specifically for day maps. That's why sometimes it's hard to rank certain classes because whatever is gonna be a day or night map can make all the difference. Can, because there are certain builds, pretty much like the detail lens build, they are very useful in day maps. They can make all the difference in day maps. But then the moment you you get a night map, the pair detail lens which decreases the visibility of the plasma cast that doesn't work anymore so it kind of it becomes useless so a whole class a whole build goes down just because of that so there are certain variables in regards to which fighting you're going to be fighting whether whatever it's going to be a day or night maybe even the type of the mission might make one perk become more useful than the other so there are just these variables which can like pretty much affect the ranking but my ranking was when i did the previous one was like judging oh i'm not going to be playing against a good fighting in a night map like it's headquarters night map which gonna be the best classes for this situation using like the best possible build because I'm like I'm not just comparing the classes but comparing the best possible builds and sometimes just like like there are certain stats that make more of a difference against a good fighting than others you know not all stats are the same like so that's pretty much like what I was going here so let's go to the list I, I didn't want to make it very like long like my previous video which was like almost an hour if you guys have any like uh questions in regards to best builds for each class I can just answer it or you guys can just search on my youtube channel because i pretty much like made videos explaining the best bit for each class so the tire the worst class in the game of course is gonna be the berserker uh it is here to summarize the situation he might have a little bit more hp than the hunter but it's not enough to make up for all the other good bad bad stats uh, he has the bad specializations not even close to like the mid ones just the worst ones 
he has low speed, low stamina. His speed and stamina are stats that make a lot of difference. Like it's it makes more of a difference than than having uh more HP. Like the more HP is not enough to make up for low speed and stamina. You need those stats to be able to just you know not not get destroyed by the fight and to be able to move around, be more like uh, be able to mob all during the match to be able to escape from the fighting. If the fighting wants to kill a berserker, they're gonna kill it. More HP, that's just like one more sniper shot that you can take in comparison to the hunter class. It's not enough, you know. They can just chase you down if you have a uh, lot because of your speed and low stamina. It's very easy to hunt a berserker down. The berserker might use a, a adrenal boost that's like almost obligatory, but berserker has low perk points, which just completely ruins this class even more. Because you are kind of forced to use one slot of your perk points just to have adrenal boost. And then you only have 5 points left. You cannot really make a good perk combination. So like this class is just a mess. You cannot... The, the, the fact that it has low stamina and low perk points can pretty much like completely ruins it. The, it completely ruins the class to be able to have a good build. So it's it's pretty much a mess. It's like objectively it's the worst one for sure. I don't see tire is going to be like the other heavy classes. Uh, like berserker wise the viking is pretty much a better berserker he has uh one better specialization which is like vicious uh and he has more perk points which allow him to make more the better better perk combinations better builds overall he might have more or less gear points but it doesn't really matter 15 gear points you cannot even use all 15 gear points because there is not enough gear for it the max amount of gear points that you can use in the game is 13. so having 15 gear points doesn't really make any difference for the berserker uh being able to carry motion detectors is not gonna really make any difference. It is not uh, being able to have more perk points for more perk combinations, better specializations is overall better. But the Viking still have uh, a bad class because it might have more HP, but it's still speed and stamina is shit. Uh, other one that should be here is Emissary, which is another Berserker variant. He's very similar to the Berserker, but he has less energy, which is a bad thing. He might, he, but he has more speed and more HP. So he's kind of like a, he's better than Berserker for sure more hp but he has less less energy which is a problem more hp more speed but still like the fact and he has pretty much i think the same specializations which are all bad so which that's pretty much why he's here other of the heavy ones uh i'm not that heavy it's samurai which is like this class between berserker and hunter he's pretty much like have all the downsides of the berserker while not having any of the good sides of the hunter pretty much so he has low perk points in my opinion because low perk perk points is, are only a problem when they are less than 11 so having 10 to 9 perk points doesn't really matter much because the meta perk combinations are going to be really affected but having the difference between 10 perk points to 11 perk points that makes a lot of difference because then you cannot use the meta of down range medic and large punch so like having like let's say 11 to 13 perk points doesn't really make much difference gameplay wise because the meta builds are the same meta perk combinations but when you lower the perk points from 11 to less than like le anything less than 11 it just it screws up the, the best combination so like that's that's like a big problem here having 10 perk points actually uh, he, he doesn't have any other good stats to make up for that is have like a more hp sure he has ghost which is the best specialization for melee so that's sure any any class any middle class that has goals is gonna be already like higher than the other ones that don't have it you know overall so like he has a better specialization than berserker for melee but like i said melee is not the most efficient way to play has a part in this game which is why he's here the classes which have his specializations which are better for ranger gameplay are gonna be higher other one copper copper a lot of people are gonna say oh you put the heavy ones at the bottom so i would expect the b to be out the light classes the scout variants yeah, it is, but the chopper it, or carper, whatever, he's pretty much like a worse scout. He's a scout with even less energy, which the weakness of the B tire classes, the scout variants, are low HP and low energy. This one has low energy and low perk points, which has 10. So like all the other classes, at least they have like overall like a good amount of perk points to or specializations to make up for low HP and low energy. Because if a class, the classes that have low HP, they need to use impenetrable you need to use impenetrable to make it equal to hunter pretty much and to, just so you don't have too much too little hp the problem with copper is that the fact that he has two two low perk points only 10 perk points and impenetrable costs six points it completely screws this up because then he pretty much like you cannot make good builds with him he, he, he pretty much like he's pretty much having practice two perk points it's like a predator class with only two perk points because you're forced to use impenetrable uh, to be able to make up for low HP and the other combinations like that you cannot pretty much like bring anything else you, you, Because you can only put like maybe downrange and that's it 
and you cannot like pretty much use any good parry combinations with him and his energy is just way too low but sure he's super fast he's i think he's faster than scout he has the highest amount of speed and, and stamina uh that the game has available so he's fun to play sure but that's why certain combinations just make it very bad in b tire is going to be all the scout variant classes the reason why they're all here is just because they're just not as good as the hunter the fact they, they might have more speed and stamina but that is just in practice not enough to make up for the lower hp and like let like lower gear points in some of them they cannot carry traps which can make a lot of difference in certain games and they don't have like the best some of them have good specializations but overall like hunter is just overall better like than this class just default hunter which is gonna be here jungle hunter hunter and uh, there's two hunters here that was a mistake captured like in comparing these classes just the uh have, oh yeah so the high low, lower energy is a problem so higher speed and stamina is not enough to make up for lower hp and energy that's pretty much like the conclusion why these ones are at the a tire and these ones are in the b tire sure speed and stamina can come in hand but it's just not enough to make up there there's like a certain amount of speed stamina hp and energy which is like the the least amount necessary for you to to you know for your predator class to function properly against a good fighting when it is like a little bit less than that it becomes a problem and in practice it just completely is going to be limiting you uh, like a lot so a tire a bit b tire is going to be out the light classes with higher lower energy lower hp some of them have a good specializations sure but still like i said not not enough to make up for the, the down signs other classes in the a tire i would put city hunter here city hunter is pretty much a hunter with more energy and less perk points sure 10 perk points like i said limits the usage of certain good pair combinations which is a problem for sure but he has analytic specialization and he has more energy than the hunter so in comparing to the hunter he has like a little bit like a, yeah he's a little bit faster than the hunter as well so he has a little he's a little bit faster than the hunter ha, uh, has more energy but has less perk points which is kind of that's why he's kind of pretty much like in, in right like in tow with the hunter class like in the same level i'm gonna have to add another tire here which is gonna be like above yeah here I wanted to make this specifically because these are classes i'm gonna call them a plus because they are classes specifically for day maps in day maps oh them these classes here are very good they might even be better than the classes in the a tire but it's only on on day maps because if it's a night map this is specific build with these classes are not gonna work because they are detailance builds which is gonna be for the elder and the mr black which is pretty much the build which you're gonna be using downrange and detailance with the plasma caster this is very useful because detailance like i said it doesn't it, it hides your laser which allows you for surprise plasma caster shots and that's pretty much like the only your only chance of stealth against like very good fighting and in practice trust me this is very useful so specifically like in day maps these classes here are very good because they have high energy and classes with high energy they benefit more from the lens because they allow you to do more plasma shots you can try to use the same build here the lens down range or let's say latch punch on the hunter class but because of the low energy it doesn't allow you to use it as efficiently like let's say mr black mr black can use the same build the lens down range and large punch but with mr black you can do that for a lot more you can do way more shots also have you have infinite thermal vision with mr black you have more energy Thermal vision doesn't cost with Mr. Black, while it does for Jungle Hunter. But Mr. Black is very slow, so he has like a downside. Mr. Black by, by, is very good specifically for this build, because in this build you're going to be in the trees just shooting plasma, so you're not going to be moving the ground. So this the weakness of Mr. Black, which is being very slow, is not going to be affected. In comparing to the Elder, Elder you can pretty much do the same thing. You might be able to do even better, because Elder has Stalker, which is pretty much like might be for this gameplay uh this kind of gameplay the plasma caster gameplay the best specialization because you're gonna be always have full stamina while shooting plasma from the branch so he has a uh, stalker which is why he pretty much is here because elder is very good for this little lens down range and with stalker allow you to be able to do insane damage with the plasma caster and, and it that's very useful against good fighting players but again only on day maps in night maps this build is not gonna the lens is not gonna work and a problem with the elder is that he has low stamina so you, you are kind of forced to use adrenal boost which they are pretty much like in tow here elder and mr black because elder have to use adrenal boost while mr black doesn't have to so mr black has this advantage of he doesn't have to use adrenal boost to be able to function well he can use a 43rd option per large punch which is very good 
With the Elder, you can try that, but you're going to be very limited by Tilo's stamina, or he doesn't have it. But the Elder has his Stalker, which is a better specialization than Team Mr. Black, which, which is why they are pretty much in the same level. But one has advantage over the other, like Elder has the advantage of the better specialization, while Mr. Black has the advantage of not of having better stamina. But they are pretty much in the same level. If it was like a night map, they might be like B+, plus, or I don't know, like now it just gets too complicated. But they are pretty much like almost in the same level as Zaytire, maybe a little less, like maybe B, B+, plus if it was like in, in a night map. Uh, I would say, other in the Zaytire, I would place Cleopatra. She's pretty much a elder. She's like a elder with more, a little bit more HP. Not enough to make a difference, in my opinion. But she has more speed, which makes more of a difference. Elder, is, elder is too slow. Like elder and Mr. Black are too slow. Cleopatra is faster. She has a stalker, but she has low stamina, so she kind of has to use adrenal boost as well. And she has, I think, a little less energy than the elder. But you might not even want to use the Dittalans build with her. Like you, you, you can use the same pack combinations at the Hunter or not exactly the same ones because she has to use Adreno. She's pretty much like a Elder that she cannot use the Dittalans build as well, which is why she's not appearing in the day map because she has less spark points than the Elder, so she cannot use the same build that I'm talking about with the Elder. But she, she's overall, overall have good stats overall. She's like a, a, I would say maybe like a cross between the Hunter and the Elder, which is like pretty much here. But she still has weakness of low stamina, so you have to use Adreno on her. Uh, which kind of limits a little bit of the builds, but overall she's very good, and she has Stalker. So, it's just that in day maps, the same build that I'm talking about with the Elder, because she has less power points, is not available. Uh, I would say Amazon is probably going to be on A-Tire. I placed it, uh, Amazon lower in this class in my last list, and I have to change it, because, mainly because Ad Amazon is like a, a kind of weird class here, because she, she would be like considered to be like one of the light classes, because she's like she's very similar to the classes in the B tire, I uh, she's like Valkyrie. I would say she's like what the Valkyrie was pre nerf. She's pretty much uh, a, a class to have high speed, she high speed, high stamina and high HP. Which people people are gonna say oh that's why she's broken. A lot of people complain about the Amazon being OP and broken, but you guys have to take consideration this. She doesn't have the best specializations in the game. And she cannot carry traps, which make a lot of difference. That's, she's pretty much like a better Valkyrie. She's very similar to the Valkyrie, like I said. She's like a Valkyrie with more HP. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, more, more perk points as well. She has the HP of a Berserker, the speed and stamina of the Valkyrie, and the perk points of like the Scout, almost. So she, she's like completely superior, objectively superior. She's like a, a mixture of the Berserker with the Valkyrie, kind of. Which is why she gets a lot of complaints about people. But people don't get that, like... These classes here at the bottom, they're just very bad. The Amazon, she's like, she she's okay. She's at the top here, a tire. I get it. But people don't realize that, like, not having one of the meta specializations and not, and having, oh yeah, she also, her energy is kind of like mid, mid, you know, she's not that high. That's why she's not up there. She might seem very OP in, in, in like, in paper, because you look at her stats. She has high speed, high stamina, high, high HP. Like comparison to other classes, she she looks in practice like in theory, like in theory, she looks like she got everything. But like I said, against a good fighting, things like uh, energy and like as is having a meta specialization matter a lot. And she doesn't have that. She doesn't have the best specialization in the game. She doesn't have uh, like I said a very high amount of energy. In that in let's say a night map, you won't be able to use a lot of plasma caster with the Amazon. Sure, you can take a little bit more energy, get more damage to the, from the fire thing. And your speed and stamina can be... You no, know, it's it's good to have the amount of speed and stamina. But still, the the lower energy and the fact that she doesn't have the meta specializations make more of this. There are certain stats, like I said, that make more of a difference like in, in practice against a good fire thing. But if you're like me, that when you bought the Amazon, you, you came, it came up with the bucket specialization, which is like the... In my case, I, ha I have Amazon Tracker and Amazon Ice Stalker. Then yeah, she's gonna be on the S tire. I mean, the only thing that prevents Amazon from being on S tire is pretty much like one specialization. Because if she had one sp good specialization, like one of the best ones, I, you you wouldn't even care about not having traps because it's like Wolf case. Wolf is here in the S tire. He, he cannot carry traps, which is like the best gear which you can use. Can be very useful. But everything else, Wolf has it very good. Maybe not his stamina, but it's like it's still okay. Wolf has pretty much like a good amount of HP, like normal HP. But he is very fast, very high energy, high perk points. You can you can pretty much like use any perk combination with Wolf. So he's very good, very good. I would say that 
a certain build which I used with him was kind of nerfed because they nerfed the plasma pistol, which was a build which rely, relied a lot on using the plasma pistol. So that specific build is not as useful now. But I would say that Wolf overall, specifically for the gameplay of using combat stick with the bow, he's very good. Because especially because of the assassin, because usually when you come in close with the fire team and you try to shoot them with the arrows, something that I noticed is that they usually turn around because they are running from you. They usually turn their back or they turn their sides. So specifically with the bow, when you come in close or throw the combat stick, use the bow. That gameplay the, with Assassin comes well because they usually the fighting tries to move away from you and you can get the extra damage from Assassin. Assassin might not be what they consider to be the best specializations in the game, which are, in my opinion, Stalker, Analytic, and Tracker. But still, it works well if you try to play the Wolf like this, mainly coming up close to use the combat stick and the bow. But even if you want to use the Detalance build or use more plasma, like I said, he's still good because he has a lot of energy and he has infinite thermal vision. So he has all the classes here in the S tire. They are all pretty much like the ones that have like stupid amount of energy, which is why they are kind of here. The overall are very balanced. They all have like mid uh, average stats. They all have like the average amount of HP, so they don't need to use impenetrable. All of them have a high, a stupid amount of energy, which is very good. They all have a good amount of, of speed and stamina, so you don't use, need to worry about using Adrenal Boost. So, they are pretty much like Hunter classes, like if you're going to compare to the Hunter. You take a Hunter, you give him more energy, better specializations maybe, and you pretty much like get the classes in the S tire. Uh, and some of them are like objectively better than some than the other ones. Uh, Bionic, I would say he's like a better Elder or a better Cleopatra out of the Praetors that have Stalker. He's pretty much like a better version mainly because his stamina is okay. While with Elder and Cleopatra, their stamina is kind of low. With Bionic, it's not the case, so he doesn't need to use Adreno. And he has more energy. And no, I think actually, I think Elder has a little bit more energy, but in practice, since Bionic has infinite thermal vision and Elder doesn't have it. Uh, he's gonna have like more energy in practice just because while you use thermal vision with the bionic you're not gonna lose energy while with the elder you do so that mainly because so it, it makes you feel like you have more energy and same thing is gonna be with scar pretty much which pretty much like the same has bionic so out of the stalker classes he's pretty much out better than elder and cleopatra mainly because of it it has he has more uh also even also speed speed i think he's also faster than both so he's pretty much like a stalker he might have less uh, perk points, but it's still like it's okay because you won't have to use that slot to use Adreno like you have to with Elder and Cleopatra. Pirate and Celtic, they are pretty much better City Hunters. They also are, have Analytic. You pretty much take City Hunter, you give him more energy, you give it, an, give it, give it infinite thermal vision and more perk points, and you get Celtic and, and Pirate. They are very similar wise. I mean, the only difference I think that Pirate uh, has la he has more gear points, so you can carry more gear. And he has uh, one less, uh, no, two less perk points. But it doesn't really make much difference. You, one might argue that Pirate is a little bit better than Celtic. Because uh, I think Celtic has 14 perk points. Pirate has 12. It doesn't make that much of a difference. The builds, the best builds are going to be pretty much the same. So the, the difference between 12 to 14 perk points in practice, they don't make that much of a difference. But it, it, only if you use the Lens build with Celtic, then it might. If you try to use like... Uh, Medic, downrange, and lens with Celtic, you, you cannot do that with the pirate. But they they're gonna be they're pretty much like in the same level. They're both S tire. They are pretty much like a city hunter with more perk points and more energy. So they're gonna be here. His car is pretty much like a bionic. He's a, a stalker predator with, with that doesn't need to use adrenal boost. Actually, he has more speed. I think he has more adrenal. He has more stamina than bionic, but maybe like a little less energy. He might be a little bit better than the bionic, but still, I don't think it's enough to put him like in a different tire. So this is pretty much it. Like this is how I would classify all the classes, and I already explained like why each one of them are here. Berserker is overall shit. C tire classes are just like uh, too slow or just too shit energy. B tire classes low energy, low HP. A, a tire classes they're overall good overall, but there is something in them that prevents them from being a little bit higher. Like they are too average, or they have a specifically one stat that is just not good enough to be able to be on S tire. A plus day map preds, they're they are they are they might be better than the A tire, but only in day maps because of the detailance build potential on these specific classes. But this specific build can also be done with the S tire predators. It might be even done like a little bit better, which is why they are S tire. That's why the the, the A plus they are in A plus not S tire. S tire predators they are here pretty much because uh, like I said, 
very high energy the best specialization they all have like pretty much like the overall best specialization the overall good speed so that's pretty much it guys uh if you guys have any questions in regards to the ranking want me to just i just, just any questions like oh what do you think about this class so i, I just I, I don't mind like having people uh question me in certain the places uh if you guys think oh but i think this class could be better because of this and that whatever uh you guys can make the questions it's overall fine i don't have problems with trying to explain myself a little bit more in the comment section it's fine for me oh yeah also i thought about making the s plus tire which would be like maybe like pirate stalker which i had because they're like when at launch pirate had stalker which allowed him to be very very strong like it might be even be a better stalker than both bionic and scar but that is also only with the talents build so that would be like for day maps in day maps a pirate stalker would be like a s plus but only for day maps but that class is like no longer available like if, if you're gonna talk about the bucket uh predator class with like wrong specialization like let's say wolf stalker scar with more perk points they can be like in s tire but still like in practice they won't make that much of a difference like they, they it doesn't really give as much of an advantage like i remember like a while ago uh people had the hunter stalker which in my opinion didn't really make that much difference because uh hunter doesn't really have that much energy to be able to maximize stalker well so hunter and stalker don't really make much of a difference even if hunter even if hunter had stalker or analytic as some people use it those bugged specializations on these classes i would still place it on a tire because like it, it didn't in practice it doesn't really make, make that much of a difference but well this is pretty much it guys uh until the next uh predator dlc comes up which is gonna think it be this year but it's still it's gonna take a few months then my then then there if they when they release next dlc predator class also when they probably they might if they do many significant changes because they might they, they're gonna be doing more updates if they change to more stuff into the balance they might change some stuff in the class in the future i don't think they will i think the balance changes in the future are gonna be minimal but still like any more different things that are gonna, if they add much more different stuff into the future i'm gonna be remaking this list uh once again